Okay. You don't, I'm not on camera. Okay. This is Sue. Hi. Hi. Good to see you again. Great to see you. Yeah. Boy, that was fun this morning. It was super fun, wasn't it? Yeah, they were I crazy. Amazing. Sue, the, for the Fox generic, you have speed. Okay. Great, we're getting right into it. Clearly no chit-chat. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Um, this is for the Fox uh, generic interviews. So this is a um, beloved series. How did you approach jumping into the world of Percy Jackson? I was very impressed with the Percy Jackson's book's special tone, which is sort of a mixture between deeply felt emotions, a coming of age story of a larger than life kid in a way, still a kid though, with you know that combined with a great sense of humor, like a, light, a lightness in tone, uh, a, you know, the, the, the story have a bounce in their step. And that to me, first and foremost, was important to bring to the tone of the film itself. Were you a fan of the books before they approached you with the project? Yes, I had seen uh, Chris Columbus's film, which motivated me to read the books because I love fantasy and action adventure. Um, and I found so much in the books that I liked. Um, and it was very important to me to bring some of those elements that for one reason or another were left out of movie one to really bring them to the forefront of this movie, uh, which is things like the central mythology uh, of camp, of the story of Talia and her turning into a tree and how that affects everyone else and the story we're telling. Uh, bringing the villain Kronos into the franchise in a big way was important. What was the most important thing that you want fans to kind of take away or that you wanted to bring to, to this film so that fans would take away from it? You know, I think it was mostly Rick Riordan's sort of writing uh, sensibility in a way. The books are told by Percy, you know, they're a first person narrative. Uh, and we did that in the movie, we do that, you know, we, we have Percy start telling the story and we have Percy wrap up the story at the end. Um, Aside from that, I felt it was really important to bring um, elements that fans loved, like the character of Clarice, Mr. D, you know, the Oracle's Prophecy, which I think features, you know, very prominently in the entire book series, to really dive into that and make, show that and see how it affects the character of Percy. All that was important. Um, is there a character that you can relate to most of all? And would you have ever, or what character would you have cast yourself possibly in if you were? That's so a very good question. I have yourself. to think about that. Um, there's, I think all characters are relatable to me in different ways. I, like many people, can probably mostly relate to Percy because Percy, you know, to an extent has big expectations uh, attached to him, you know, he's the son of, a, of Poseidon, and at the beginning of our movie, he feels less than confident of being able to fulfill them, you know, so that's something that I think a lot of people of a young age, you know, including myself to an extent can relate to. Uh, I also, I also weirdly can relate to Tyson. I don't have one eye, but I feel that his feeling of, you know, sometimes people looking at you weirdly or feeling that you're not part of the team for certain reasons. That feeling of being an outsider, I think for some reason or another, I can relate to as well. Um, and last question is, so we surprised a bunch of true fans at Camp Half-Blood today. What was that experience like? It was the awesomest thing I've ever experienced uh, to see uh, kids so enthusiastic about the story about the characters, about meeting Logan and Alexandra, um, and asking so many smart questions. I mean, these are kids that are, what, between the ages of eight and 11? Um, and one of them asked me whether I was producer, co-producer, editor, or director on the film. So very film savvy young crowd, uh, but it was all great fun to be received with such enthusiasm. Yeah, thanks. Cool. Yes, they very much IMDb'd, I'm sure. <laughs> like, they were like, what?